It's brought to you by a newest sponsor, 621 Gallery. I've noticed in the past couple of months that we have a few local Raven, Ravens fans here in Tallahassee, one of which is the owner of 621 Gallery. He said he wanted to help the channel because he liked what we was doing. Well, this sponsorship is a result of that conversation. 621 Gallery is the oldest contemporary art gallery in Tallahassee. It's located right between FAMU and Florida State. If you don't know, both schools are within walking distance from each other. You can pretty much walk from one campus to the other. 621 is part of the Railroad Square Arts District. They provide an environment for community and art to come together and be a part of something larger than themselves. They start each month with First Friday, a gallery hop that started in the early 2000s. Throughout the month, they have an array of programs and events ranging from art auctions to concerts to fashion shows. Thank you to the leadership at 621 Gallery for sponsoring this video. And you can find them at 650-3 Railroad Square if you're in Tallahassee or online at 621 Gallery on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you, 621 Gallery, for sponsoring this video. Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to take a look at a snippet of the game versus the Baltimore Ravens and the Houston Texans, where the Ravens came out victorious 34-10 to 10 in the division round, uh, which makes them move on to play either the Chiefs or the Bills, game which is going on right now. Uh, they're going to host that game next Sunday at, at 3 o'clock, I think, for the AFC Championship game. But I want to take a look at the Ravens' ninth offensive possession, a possession in which they only threw the ball once. And it was at, at a time in the game where we wanted to run it, Houston knew we wanted to run it, and we still ran it effectively. So I want to take a look at all 11 plays for 78 yards, which took 7 minutes and 10 seconds off the clock to lead the score, well, to leave the score 31-10 and uh, pretty much close the door on this game. Because it's, it's different when you can run the ball, and both sides know that running is about to occur. Both sides. And we were able to punish them and, and have this 11-play drive with one pass and, and stick it in the end zone to, to really shut the door on the Houston Texans' playoff hopes. Well, let's get into the nine plays and we'll talk about it and see what, what concepts we ran, who did well up front, what backs did well, what Lamar did, and just put it all together in this, this first video of the week uh, coming from our divisional playoff game. Okay, the drive started on the negative 22-yard line. Uh, first play, we get a, a run by Justice Hill for, for nine yards. We got basically a two tight end set, 12 personnel. Getting outside zone to the left. Good initial job by Morgan Moses to, to root his guy out of there. Who's that on the end? Good job of Ricardo taking care of the end. And Moses climbing the second level. That's good. That's good. Now it's up to these three guys to kind of hold that wall. And they do a good job. Now we just need KZ to come off and maybe pick up Christian Harris. Which he doesn't have to because Christian kind of sees the little juke, uh, the little hesitation that Justice has back there. Kind of gets himself caught in the wash. So had Zyla seen that, but this Zyla's not wrong. He's supposed to seal that off and create this 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 wall. But had Zyla seen that and was able to come up on Petrie, would have even had a bigger run. A great way to start it off and great hard running by Justice. Realizes, realizes that there are bodies there and watch him close this ball up because, you know, we, we don't want to fumble at this time of the game. Look at him. Look at him wrap it up. Two hands. Cover it up there. Cover it up there. And we didn't run a lot of outsides on early. Came back with it late. And it proved to be just what we needed at the time. All right. The second play in this drive actually was a penalty. So we're going to skip that. And we're going to go to the third play. But it's technically the second play. And this is a Lamar Jackson going around the end. Inside zone, like well, zone read. And again, we run zone read. This is just straight zone read. This guy's the read guy. If he crashes on the, the back, 
Lamar pulls it and goes out. If he kind of slow plays and stays up, stays up the field, Lamar hands it off to Gus. He hits it up, up the field. The end is the read. Eyes go straight to him, and he's crashing on the running back hard. Hard. And again, what I like about this is they not scrape exchanging. And what scrape exchange means, you automatically go chase the uh, back, and I'll come over top for the quarterback. But they're not doing that. Perriman still leaks in here too. So with Perriman leaking in that too, and him chasing down the, the back, that leaves the open door for Lamar to get out of there. See, look at Gren Grenard. Grenard chasing it down and Perriman chasing it down too. Look at the lane. The only person out there really is uh, uh, Houston Carson. And Perriman actually hurts himself on this tackle. So that was a 10-yard run by Lamar. So now we're looking at first and 10 from the 36. First and 10 from the 36. This will be the third player to drive. Again, they know we want to run. We know we want to run. Because look at them. They got all three of their linebackers in there. Because he's in there because Perriman got hurt. But they got all three of their linebackers in there. Got their 4D linemen. Normally, they're a nickel team. Normally, they're a nickel team. But we in heavy personnel, too. We in 22 personnel with the uh, tight end, Kolar, and two backs. Basically trying to get outside. Running toss to Gus, which I don't really like, but hey, it is what it is. Do a good job up front with, uh, who's that? Linda Baum and, and John Simpson. Ah. Initially, Simpson's there. But with his head being down, he, he wastes steps because his head down. See how his head down, he kind of stumbled up out of there. And now he can't get he can't cut this guy off. Now he can't cut that guy off. We get a crack. We get a crack by Likely on Renard. And now we're trying to get Stanley out here, trying to get Ricard out here, trying to get Gus on the edge. Hopefully we can um Kolar can pick up Christian. He does not Christian outruns him. That's just too too much of an athlete gap. But again, you got Ryan there for it. And again, Simpson not getting that cutoff guy. That's the guy that kind of comes in and makes the tackle, number 96. But again, you're just trying to give him the run wide. Maybe you could pop something. Maybe you could pop something. All right, after Gus's um, run, we got a second and nine. We only got one yard on that. Let's see what Justice Hill gives us. We got second and nine right here. Still, in, still on the outside of the field. The little outside zone. More stretch, which I love. Ricard gets a good block. Morgan Moses taking care of his, about to take care of his job. He's supposed to step there and climb. Zaytla already climbing. Leonard Bum got to just turn him back. Leonard Bum got to turn him back. And maybe John Simpson can cut this off. I doubt it, though, because that's Christian Harris. Great angle. Oh, that's a great angle by Simpson. That is. I was wrong. Great angle by Simpson to go there and not go straight up. By him going flat, he got that angle. KZ going to have that angle. Oh, that's how it's supposed to look. That's how it's supposed to look right there. Bam, 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 bam. And then uh, luckily, this guy beats Ryan across his face. But it's too late for, for him to get over there. But that's how it should look. You get your linemen on linebackers, easy peasy. Easy peasy. All just here got to do is accelerate. And he hit this thing wide open. He hit it wide open. Fourteen yard game for Justice Hill. Which brings us to our next play. Now we're sitting at first and first and ten from the forty nine. Got the ace formation again where you got your ace pistol. With your back straight behind the quarterback, you got your two tight ends. And I know technically records a running fullback, but I'm considering him a tight end right here. Got your motion guy running outside zone again. Now, they get a little bit more penetration this time, but you see Morgan Moses already starting to climb. And they, they, that's a better fight right here out of their guy. A better fight out of their guy. But every time you run this, it can be different. Depending on how they align, who overruns it or what. See, it's the same play. Now, it just look totally different. And now Justice Hill got to just, he got to read it. He got to read it. Because ideally you want him to hit that, especially with Moses climbing. 
but you got to kind of figure out what's going on with this because he's kind of manhandling KZ at the, at the moment. He's trying to play both sides, and he does. He does a good job. He does a good job of pushing KZ too wide and making Justice Hill cut it back. So in a sense, number 98 set the edge, in a sense. He set the edge. But again, you got good push from Linderbaum. If 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 um, Simpson could kind of watch this guy down, Ryan is still fighting, maybe you could slide up through there. And if you had a real jump cut, you could slide out this back door. He tried it. He almost got to the back door. Almost. Almost. He got three yards on that. It's another positive game, though. Again, they know we want to run. We know we want to run. They not stopping it. So now we're looking at what we're looking at now. Second and seven from the second and seven, you get our, we get our first, well not our first sighting because the first sighting he got in, I think he kind of messed up and that's kind of why they didn't play him that much. But we get our really first sighting of Davin Cook, his first time touching the ball, same play, outside zone, and again, three straight times look different. It looked different. They try to collapse the middle zone. We get the same thing going. Look at this wall. These three guys set. Then you get a hat on a hat. Look at that wall. Get Will Anderson on the ground, so that's a pancake. So now with him on the ground, both of these guys can climb. And we just need one guy to cut off Cashman. Morgan Moses cuts him off. Davin Cook got a clear lane. Clear lane to get through for a nice pickup. Makes Petrie miss. miss. Ends up getting a nice carry for 19 yards. 19 yards. So now we're deep in, in that territory. We're on the 27-yard line. But that's a great job by the O-line of getting upfield. Great job by Kolar of, of kind of Taking care of Houston Carson or Carson Houston, whichever one it is. That's, man, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful look right there. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me screenshot this one real quick. Hold on, I got, give me a, I'll give me a minute. I got to screenshot this look. And now back to it. Huge hole though. 19 yard game for, for Dalvin Cook. Now we got first and 10 from the 27 yard line. Let's see what we get. Cook going to get another carry. Because remember, there's only one pass in this system. I mean, in this series. One pass. Same play again. <laughs> Same play again. Still getting positive results. Still getting positive results. Pretty much the same look. Now they've, for some reason, switched out of their three line, their four three looking, their look, and they kind of went to their 50 ish type look. Maybe their three four type look where they got these. This 3-4 even, and they got these outside linebackers, and they got the two backers in the middle trying to get, I guess, more bigger bodies in there to stop the run. Look at John Simpson. This is a great block by John Simpson. This is how you double team. Lennon got that hand there, and you get right on that hip. This is a great double team right here by Simpson. Great double team. So much that Davin Cook sees it too. He sees it too. Now, if Simpson could just come off to, to Christian Harris and Ronnie can keep that hole and we get one-on-one -on -one right there, that's what you're asking for. And that's what happened. That's it. That's it right there. That's how you run it. Because the play, you can run, the, you can call this play over and over and over again. It'll probably look the same. Let's say you call it 10 times. It'll probably look the same twice at most. Because they changed their front. We ran the same play. And it looked different. It just, instead of it hitting out here, now it hit back inside, close to the backside. But Simpson did a great job of double teaming right there. So that was, a, that was a amazing double team and Ronnie with the seal out to kind of split the defense. Davin Cook found it early. He, you know, picked up four yards. Next carry. So now instead of having the, the even look, instead of having the tight end here, we got two on this side. We got Ricard and Cola on this side. So we had to overload, but still running the same play. <laughs> still running the same play. Now this time, they defended it a little better. Because they had that same look as they had last time. Now they didn't put the nickel up on the line. So now they got an extra guy at the line of scrimmage. See how every time we run it, they change and do something different? Trying to find a way to stop it? The, the, the thing that stopped it on this one, to me, is the penetration that 95 gets on Cola and kind of shoves him back. And that kind of set the edge early. So Cook start, had to start scanning his eyes back this, this way. And wasn't much there. Watch. Bam. See that? See how Cola gets jammed back? Now Cook already knows I can't I can't go that way. Cook he done jammed him back. Number nine eight got all this open already. He got to start looking backside already. As soon as he gets it, and then you got this guy crashing from the back end. It's kind of doomed. Kind of doomed. 
But we ran it five straight times, same play. Same play, five straight times. And that's the first time they remotely got close to stopping it. Minus one rushing yard. So now we're looking at third and seven. Third and seven from the 24-yard line. They come with my favorite concept, snag, sit down, something deep, whether it be corner, I mean, whether it be post, corner, or curl, or whatever, then back in the flats. That's my, my favorite concept. Y'all know that. Here it is, in motion. Ball out. <laughs> Ball out. Make a guy miss. First down. Y'all know I love snag. I'm, I'm a, uh, I love it. I know about 15 ways to run it. I love it. Uh, it's, it's tough to stop. It's tough to stop. There it is, drawn up again. Sit right there. As soon, soon as this dude cross your face, you show your numbers. Because that means he chasing the back. And he showed his numbers enough or fast enough, and Lamar got it to him fast enough that he was able to make a guy miss and go get the first down. This is the only play of this drive. I mean, the only passing play of this drive. I'm sorry. Only passing play of this drive. Next. Back to the same look with the uh, two tight ends. Got Justice Hill back in. Try to get a little counter action. Uh, he slips, but still effective. Still effective. Let's see what happens. You're going to get guard and tight end counter. Guard and tight end counter. So he should be blocking down. He should be fighting to try to get him this outside shoulder. He should be trying to block down. And he should be trying to take Petrie down. Should be trying. But let's see how it works out. We got the, got the block down by Linderbaum. Got the block down by Zyla. Got the block down by Ronnie. All right. Kolar's climbing. Should get a kick out here by John Simpson. But you do. Good job of rooting him out, Simpson. Good job of digging him out, Simpson. Now, we just need Ricard to come through. And the back going to follow him. Oh, we should have just a little patience. A little patience, he score. A little bit impatient. A little patient, Justice. Let record, let give him a little hesitant step. Let Ricard get hit his block and you hit right off of it. Ricard get that block and you mm, missed the opportunity. Missed the opportunity, but still, positive yards. Positive yards. And the next play, which is um, this is what? Second and five. Am I right? Second and five. Yeah, second and five from the eight. Now this time we got we got a little different look. We got both our tight ends. We got uh, Likely and Kolar. You got Ricard coming in motion, but Ben Cleveland's in too. Ben Cleveland has reported as eligible. So now you got all your beef right here, all of it. Bam! Running power. Good job of Ricard kicking out. Good job of um, who's this? John Simpson pulling around for it. But again. I mentioned it earlier in my recap. The only people I think knew that this was a uh, keeper was this guy and this guy. Because everybody else down on it. Everybody else down on it. Ronnie with that the good footwork. Because he really Ronnie just really just setting it up. He, just let, he let him go inside. Because that was really a half ass block. He let him go inside. He really looking to see what's on his edge because he know he finna get out there. He know what's coming. Like I said, I predict the only two people knew what's coming is these two. I really do. On both times we did it. We did it on fourth and one and then right here. And my boy took it to the crib. Shut it down. Shut it down. Really shut it down. Um, this is when you know you got a really darn good team. When both, everybody that's watching this game whether you're a Texan fan or a Ravens fan, knew that the Ravens were about to try to run this football. And they did it successfully. They had one negative play out of 11 and one pass. So that's nine successful runs. Nine. When everybody knew you was going to run it. And that's how you close the door on people right there. That's how you don't let them hang around. You go do what you got to do. You impose your will and you punish people with the run game. That, this is how you get over 200 yards rushing on top of the spectacular stuff Lamar did. On top of that. But again, this whole drive, 78 yards. Only the last eight came from Lamar. Everything else came from a running back or a skill player. The one catch to Zay Flowers. 
So I, I commend the O-line for the effort yesterday. Did a good job. Anytime you rush over 200 yards, 229 to be exact, they need to be commended, no matter where the yards come from. So shout out to our O-line. Shout out to uh, Joe D. Shout out to the Ravens flock for being loud as they were because uh, I saw a number of players coming on it. And this is our first film session for the divisional round playoff win versus the Houston Texans. Plenty more to come this week, so make sure you uh, tune in. And if you have not liked the video and you like what you saw, please like the video. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Then smash that bell so you can be known, so you can know when the rest of the content drops for this playoff run that the Ravens are on. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you soon. Remember the motto: FTMF, because the film don't lie. Unlike some people, and just like Lamar, I'm finna run up out of here to the apartments. <laughs>